How's it going everyone? Marcus from Creators Cauldron here. Today we're going to be scanning this clay sculpture of a dragon head that I sculpted about three to three and a half years ago. It's starting to get damaged and I want to preserve it and uh, you know remember it kind of how it was before more detail is lost or something happens to it. So first thing we're going to do is come over here and open the EX Star application. That is the Shining 3D software for the new Einstar handheld scanner, which is what we're going to be using on this dragon here. And I'm going to go over here and take a look at my data. I am doing a screen capture so that you guys will be able to see what I'm doing better. And I zoom in here looking like it's pretty good still missing a little bit of the inside of the mouth and a couple areas in the horn or around the horns so we we'll go ahead and put the scanner back on and hit this middle button again So let's go ahead and take a look at our data here. Looks like we were able to capture a lot more of the mouth. There's still a few little holes in there. We got the backs of some of the teeth that were missing. Now that we've gone ahead and optimized our scan and generated this point cloud. Able to see a little better where we're missing some areas. Still some more issues in the eye socket. A little in the horn area. And in the mouth there's quite a bit. So we're going to add another scan to this and see what we can get. optimizing and generating a point cloud and decided I'm just going to run you through the rest of this. So the next thing I do is hit mesh model. After clicking mesh model I select water type model, high quality, filter set to high. I have low smoothing because I want to maintain some of the uh, texture detail there. I don't really want to smooth out any of those details. I'm going to remove small floating parts, crank that up a little bit. Leave the simplification at 40 Max triangles are set to, I believe, 2 million. Let's see, it might even be higher. Set to 20 million, which for now is, I mean, that's way too much, but we're going to leave it. Uh, so I have removed spike turn on and marker hole filling turned on, and I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. All right, guys, so now that the model's been meshed here, Go ahead and hit confirm, and you'll see the bottom's a little blown out. So what I'm going to do to fix that is I am going to create a cutting plane. One thing you'll notice is there is a little bit of uh, stuff between the teeth here but that could easily be cleaned up in ZBrush, uh, which I did previously. But for now, I'm going to just show you how to save your scan. So hit save. Now we got the texture remapped. Got this beautiful scan here. Not seeing a whole lot of issues, lots of high detail. Like I said, the little issue between the teeth.
So uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little tougher to make with all the loading bars, but I am um, looking forward to making more content in the future. And if you like this, go ahead and follow me on my social media channels. All right, thank you very much, and I hope you guys all have a great day.